I wanted to do an update video on our okra patch. So we have 28 okra here. And um, the, one of the most recent videos I put out was about the growth habit of okra. And I showed you that after we cut the okra, we also cut off the leaf directly below the okra. Um, and how the okra grows straight up along the main trunk there and how it will send out side shoots. So I kind of showed you the differences um, how of that. I'm not going to go into that again. So be sure to watch that video. But today is October 3rd. So I'm out here cutting okra. I've already cut um, almost a gallon of okra in just two rows. So I've still got, um, I guess, two more rows to cut. But anyhow, I wanted to, to show you um, in that first video, we talked about the bushiness um, and how um, it will send out new side growth, side shoots. So I wanted to go ahead and show you what that looks like um, since those side shoots are now producing. Okay, so let's just look at this one right here. So in that other video, I kind of showed you, you know, how they grow, you know, and they're really thick branches and all that. Okay, and this right here is the main one. Okay, so <laughs> you can see it's pretty tall. Um, some of these are, I'm not even sure, maybe 11 feet tall now, some of them. Um, I'm five foot, well, I'm five two, so <laughs> that might give you a little idea. Anyhow, okay, so this is the main one, okay? Now, and you can see this main one right here, you can see where we've been cutting off the okra and then the leaf and so on. And I told you how, see right, right here, this was also a leaf and how um, it'll send new side shoots. So here's a shoot and we've been cutting off okra off of this side shoot. And just cut off one this morning. And then here's some more okra right here. And over here, here's some more side shoots that are now, and there's a cucumber beetle. Um, and here's some more side shoots that are flowering as well. And more okra we've been cutting. Okay. All right, so um, so that's kind of one right there that you can see. Now over here, let me find a couple more. And you can see this one here. This one has a bunch of new growth here and here. Pretty much at every uh, where a leaf used to be, there is new growth. And over here, right? Okay, and you can see we have all that new growth, but here's the top of it. And of course, like I said earlier in the, the other video, um, we don't prune them. Um, so that's the top there of this particular one. And the one right next to it, it has a lot of side growth as well. Okay, now this one over here that I did end up pruning just because I think the top was damaged or something. I forget what happened, but I did prune it. I wanted to show you it. Let me find it. Okay, here it is. So, so this is the top right here of one that I pruned, I don't know, what, a month ago or so maybe? Anyway, and in my last video, you know, it did not have any... Um, it did not have any additional new growth on the side shoots than any of the others. And it still does, and I still have others that have just as much side growth. But I did want to show you what it does have. This is the base, the main plant, right? And this is the main trunk here. And you go all the way up, and there was where I, I clipped it off up there somewhere. Anyhow, but you can see um, all these side branches. And even the ones that I didn't prune off, they all have these side branches. But the reason I wanted to show you this is because there does come a time where, um, you know, like I said in the other video, they just get super tall. But there does come a time um, to where the side branches will start producing. Okay. Again. So now, even though they are still producing up high... You know, there's still flowers and they're still producing up high. Even though all of that is the case, we now have to look about waist high 
again. <laughs> okay. So, um, just like when they first started growing, they were so bushy. It was literally like a jungle, um, to get in here. And then now we have, you know, nice walkways and stuff to get through. Um, but now if the weather holds out, we're going to have, these are all going to be grown up together again. So I just kind of wanted to show you that. So you will see that, um, even though they grow up the main stalk and they just keep growing only taller and taller, once those sh side shoots start to mature, they will start to produce again on the side shoots. Okay. So I know I mentioned that in the other video, but I just wanted to kind of show it to you. Since these side shoots are now actively producing okra, um, I'm going to go ahead and make my life a little easier. And I'm going to go ahead and top off um, the tall ones, um, because, you know, even though I may get two or three a day, um, from the very top of each stalk, um, I will still get that same amount or uh, honestly even more from all of these side shoots. Okay. So it'll make my job easier by going ahead and topping them off that way, because I'm telling you, if you're out here in the sun and you're trying to look up to find the ones that are ready for harvest, um, that sun just, you know, for me, it hurts my eyes and my eyes start to water really bad. So, um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and make my life easier and we're going to top all of these back to about five foot tall, maybe. And we're just going to keep on harvesting until our first frost, which I think is scheduled for our area. I think it's, um, in two to three weeks. Maybe it's about three weeks. I forget which. I think it's three weeks. Um, is when we're scheduled for our first, or is our first possible frost date. It may not come until November, though. Okay, so I spy a little cat. Do you see the cat? Look closely. Back there. Miss Molly. Molly! She thinks she's hiding from the dog. Chief, I called for Molly. He's a very jealous dog. So if the chickens or the cats get any attention, he is right there to run them off. Chief, come here. Come here, bud. Hey, look at you. Hey, are you a handsome boy? Yeah. Okay, that's wonderful. I should specify that I'm only topping the ones that have... Um, that currently have productive side shoots that are producing okra. Okay, so the ones that, so you can see this one here, um, it has considerable sh side shoots that are productive. Okay, I've already been harvesting off of it the last few days. But, um, but the ones that don't have any productive side shoots yet, they just have the growth, but they're not actually uh, harvesting harvestable okra yet. I'm going to go ahead and leave those tall enough, um, you know, and just keep harvesting off the top. But once this, once the side shoots on the others are like this one to where I can actually harvest the okra, then I'll go ahead and top them. All right. So I hope this was clear enough and that you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.